Good afternoon. My name is Deborah Foley, and I'm very proud to run Partners in Education for Brevard Public Schools. Welcome to our 2021 Pi Award Ceremony. This afternoon, we will recognize our district-wide Community Partner of the Year, our Faith-Based Partner of the Year, our Business Partner of the Year, our Overall Partner of the Year, and our School Pi Coordinator of the Year. The past two years have been very difficult and look different than ever before, and we couldn't have done it without our partners and gotten through as well as we have. And I am pleased to announce here tonight that we are on target to hit our $4 million Pi quota of cash and in-kind support to schools over this past school year. So Partners in Education would not be the program it is without the support of our partners. Let's take a minute to learn more about this year's Pi meeting sponsor, Florida Healthcare Plans. We are grateful to Florida Healthcare Plans for their loyal involvement in the PIE program. Joe Rowlett is, the, is with Florida Healthcare Plans and he's here with us this afternoon. Thank you, Joe, and your team. Now I'd like to introduce our host for this afternoon. Our reigning PIE coordinator of the year, Mr. Terry House from Vieira High School, and my partner in crime, Sarah Allman from District Government and Community Relations. Take it away, Terry and Sarah. Thank you, Deborah. And thank you to the Florida Healthcare Plans for supporting Partners in Education. We are excited to present our first award of the afternoon to our Community Partner of the Year. Nominated by Brevard Aftercare, this organization is recognized for years of collaboration and enrichment activities such as growing fresh fruit and veggies in raised garden beds, kids in kitchen hands-on virtual cooking lessons, and teaching students about Brevard's native habitat and animals. Please help me welcome the Partners in Education Community Partner of the Year, the University of Florida Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences, Brevard County Extension, and Andrea Lazari, along with Teresa Cavanaugh from Brevard Aftercare. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are so excited to be here. The University of Florida IFAS Extension Brevard County Office is so excited and honored to accept this award this year. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And um, Todd, we have you from Brevard Aftercare. Tell us a little bit about um, the partnership and something unique that happened this year with it. Well, I have to say that uh, with uh, the virtual side of it and not being in the brick and mortar for so so long, we had to really sit down and work hard to come up with a plan, and the University of Florida 4-H just did that. Came up with some virtual opportunities for our students uh, to work uh, and reach them, not just them, but their families. And uh, I think that it's special because we were able to touch, uh, uh, get, get, get those tentacles out to more than just the students, but we were able to reach the families with some of the cooking opportunities as well. The cooking program sounded amazing, and then I've also heard a little bit about this, this mobile market that I think some of our other schools sounded a little jealous of, like they want that to come visit them too. Tell us what that's about. Um, so our tiny market is a mobile farmer's market on wheels, and we take it around to after school sites and we teach the kids all about uh, where their food comes from. So we talk about agriculture, we talk about healthy um, lifestyles and nutrition, and then at the end of the program, after they make a healthy snack and do some physical activities and a scavenger hunt, they get to go shopping at the market and take home a fresh fruit or vegetable to try at home with their families. That's pretty phenomenal, and I imagine that you can get pretty creative and, and maybe even introduce kids to foods or vegetables that they haven't even uh, maybe had in the home before. Absolutely, we try to incorporate things that they've never had. So we'll try to do um, unique things like a star fruit or a mango or jicama, things that they've probably never had the opportunity to try before. I have definitely never prepared jicama at home. So maybe I can attend one of the next, um, one of the next mobile pantries that you have. <laughs> well, again, um, congratulations on being our community partner of the year. And uh, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. 
And now we'd like to introduce our district-wide faith-based partner of the year. Nominated by Kennedy and McNair Middle Schools, this partner is recognized for boosting teacher morale with goodie bags and supplies, ensuring school food pantries are stocked for those that need it the most, and most notably, for their head pastor becoming a certified BPS substitute teacher during the past year when he heard it was one of the district's most critical needs. Please help me welcome our faith-based partner of the year, Rockledge United Methodist Church and Pastor Kirk Dreiser. <laughs> Pastor Kirk, Terry and I are thrilled to have you. I've been able to work with you at the district level and I know that Terry at the school level has worked closely with you and your staff. Tell us a little bit about uh, what the past two years have looked like for your partnership. And I definitely wanna hear what it's like to be a substitute during these times. <laughs> Well, um, the partnership has been just absolutely awesome for me personally, but also to have our church get on board and really take up the cause of caring for the teachers and the students in the schools. And the last two years have, as anyone who's watching this knows, have been absolutely crazy, but it's opened up so many wonderful partnerships and, and wonderful ways to, uh, to get the help. Again, um, thank you to, to the congregation at Rockledge United Methodist Church. I know, uh, Pastor Kirk, when, when we first met about two and a half years ago, you had shared it was really part of your vision, not just to yourself get involved in schools, but to bring your congregation along. Tell us some of um, the individual projects that um, your congregation's been able to take part in. Sure. Um, what we decided is that since every teacher and every kid that goes to these schools is loved by God, and our job is to love them, we decided that we needed to, during this time, really reach out to teachers who, uh, who need to know that somebody's got their back because there's a lot of stuff going on, as you know, a lot more different types of work, and, and we just... So we decided that we were going to focus on teachers, although we help students also in different ways. But we wanted the teachers to know that somebody out there cared, and so we've been putting together goodie bags and, and doing lots of different things uh, to, to hopefully give the teachers a little bit of boost from time to time. Well, that morale at, at the school level um, plays a major difference. I don't think it's surprising at all. I know the day that I, I called you to share the news you had won, you said just this morning we were taking around gifts for teacher appreciation. Uh, so we, we caught you in the act um, doing a good thing. Um, we thank you for that. We thank you for being here to accept the award. Thank you, Pastor Kirk. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you, Sarah, Terry, Cindy Stewart, and Tammy Brock, and Jasmine DeLotter at, at McNair and Kennedy Middle School. So Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Next, we are honoring our district-wide business partner of the year. Nominated by Roosevelt Elementary, this partner is recognized for always responding to the call for in-kind donations and support, and proactively involving the school and students in activities such as their store grand opening ceremony. Over the fall, when the students were still e-learning, this partner provided take-home donut decorating kits for every student at Roosevelt and worked with staff to ensure all students learning from home could still access the decoration kits. They are acknowledged for going out of their way to include local schools in their activities and for their generosity, giving back to support staff and student morale with cash and in-kind donations. Please help me congratulate the district-wide business partner of the year, Duncan Coco Beach, represented by LaPortion Brown and Santonio Holmes. Joining them is Roosevelt Elementary School Pie Coordinator and Assistant Principal, Ms. Doreen Carlo Coriel. Doreen, thank you so much for being here in addition to Duncan. Uh, I want to hear more about these take-home decorating kits. What was the motivation behind that? And 
Um, it's just amazing that one was provided for every single student at the school. It was a wonderful opportunity to include all of our students, whether they were in school or at home. The district manager reached out to me and suggested it. Of course, I said yes. Um, and I really, really appreciated them. We integrated it with our art teacher. Um, she brought it into every classroom where they got the opportunity to decorate a donut around Halloween time. So they were very creative. And then they also invited all e-learners to come out to their newly remodeled location just north of 520 in Cocoa Beach to come out with their parents and to um, have the opportunity to pick up a donut kit there. That's pretty amazing, being able to include not only the students um, that were back in school, but also keeping in mind the the e-learners. We thank you so much, um, Ms. Brown and Mr. Holmes. Anything you would like to share from the store side of Duncan and, and what it's like to involve local school kids? It's been a great opportunity to have my own 15-year-old at home, and it has been just great being able to, to you know, supply donuts, you know, it's the little things. It, it is the little things. And I think, of course, um, we know students appreciate that. But just as Pastor Kirk mentioned as well, that that morale, uh, providing those boosts to teachers with um, the additional gift cards that you added. And I think just reaching out to Roosevelt and, and local schools and letting them know from the business side that uh, they're important and you want them involved. So uh, again, congratulations on being named our district-wide business partner of the year. And thank you for all the love you've shown Roosevelt and our students and families. You're very welcome. Thank you. So our next award is our second to last to be presented this evening. Terry, I can't believe how fast it's going. Yes, we're flying through this. <laughs> this award recognizes a partner that falls into any of the categories that we work with. Businesses, community groups, faith-based nonprofits. This is our overall district partner of the year. They have a history of partnering with schools all throughout the district. We also have a special guest to help us present the award for the overall district partner of the year. Please welcome last year's overall district winner, Wawa, and store manager, Josh Patro. Josh, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you, I appreciate it. So last year, Wawa was inducted into BPS's Pi Hall of Fame. That's where we house our overall district winners. Um, what has it meant to our local Wawa stores to receive this recognition? Uh, it's been amazing. You know, the, the community has been awesome. Uh, we've worked in many different states. A lot of us uh, actually in the local stores have uh, transferred from other states. And the connection that we have with the community and the stores here with the, the school has been outstanding. The, the amount of support we get, not only from the parents knowing that we're in the schools, but also the teachers knowing that if they need something in the pinch, they can rely on us. But if we need something from them, they're going to step up to the plate too. So it's, it is a two-way street partnership, and it could not be any better. Thank you so much, Josh. Um, I've, I've seen it happen in person. It's, it's amazing. All the Wawas in Brevard have been so appreciative. Before we ask you to give up the plaque, calling you the, the Hall of Fame winner, would you please do us the honor of just reading through the, our past Pi Hall of Fame winners? Since I can't run away with it, the past <laughs> Hall of Fame winners are 2013 Joe Rowley, State Farm Insurance, 2014 Jersey Mike Subs, 2015 Sterk Insurance, Horace Mann, 2016 Community Credit Union, 2017 Brilliant Smiles Orthodontics, 2018 The Fountains, 2019 Northrop Grumman, and 2020 my favorite, Wawa. <laughs> Thank you so much, Josh. We appreciate that. Without further ado, uh, I am so proud to announce our overall district winner of the year, Elevation Church and Outreach Coordinator, LaShondra McGee. LaShondra, welcome and congratulations. Thank you. We are happy to be here. I'm happy to be here on behalf of Elevation Church in Melbourne. This is an excellent opportunity for us um, to be recognized as partner of the year. It was not something we anticipated, but it is a gracious honor. And we are so glad and grateful for our partnership with Bovara Public Schools. And I've got to tell you, LaShondra, you know, we, we love um, all the faith-based organizations that, that we partner with. We do our best to kind of match them up with schools in their neighborhood. But what was really unique and stood out to us and our judges when they were looking through the Pi Award nominations was that 
um, Elevation Church, though you are located in, in the Melbourne area, uh, if there was a school that needed help anywhere throughout the district, you did not hesitate to step up. You were able to provide meals uh, during Thanksgiving time, holiday food drives. You guys do back to school projects. You partner with the Children's Hunger Project, which serves dozens of our elementary schools. Um, talk a little bit about your congregation and the projects that, that they like to be involved with. Well, it was important for us to have a reach throughout the community. We recognize that Bavard County is 72 miles long, um, and we really wanted to take an opportunity to expand our reach as a church and also um, make a bigger and more significant impact in our community. We serve a big God, and we were happy to step up to the call to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And so for us, we really were looking for opportunities throughout the county wherever there was a need. Um, because we feel like it is important to not only be present in the community where we're located as a church, but to uh, understand and recognize as a whole that we're all united and uh, committed to improving our community to be for the betterment of everybody. And so it wasn't just about reaching out within a certain span of our campus reach, but really looking at opportunities to serve not only families, but our teachers and students as well, because they are important in our community. And we want to show them that we do appreciate and support them. That's shown through in, in huge, huge ways through the support your congregation has provided. Uh, again, I mentioned that, that you are housed in Melbourne. However, you've worked with Columbia, Gulfview, and Fair Glen Elementary, in addition to Delora and Johnson Middle, and O'Galley, Melbourne, and Heritage High School. And um, I think it's kind of funny, same story I told with Pastor Kirk when I called you to share the good news that uh, you had been chosen as our overall district partner of the year. You said, you know, I've been waiting to talk to you. There's some other schools we want to reach out to for teacher appreciation. So yeah. again, catching you in the act uh, of serving our students and our families. We can't thank you enough. Thank you to Elevation and the community that supports. And congratulations on being this year's overall district partner of the year. Thank you. All right, Terry, you've been counting down the days. This is the moment I know you've been waiting for. It's, it's bittersweet. It is time for you to pass the baton. I know you brought your own special baton that you've decorated, and you will share the story behind this. Uh, but we just want those watching and celebrating with us to know that we have over 100 school pie coordinators, and that's really where the rubber meets the road. In addition to their daily school responsibilities, pie coordinators build and strengthen relationships with our partners so that students and staff can thrive. They also allow our partners to develop relationships with over 30,000 of our Brevard Public Schools families. Terry, as this year's School Pie Coordinator, you encountered a lot. You had to learn how to run a pretty personal program virtually. You accepted a promotion as assistant principal at Vera High School. N not much going on this year. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your experience as Pi Coordinator of the Year before you officially pass the baton to this year's Coordinator of the Year. Yes, thank you, Sarah. Um, first and foremost, um, I, I want to take this opportunity to thank Sarah and Deb um, for this encouragement um, along the way. Um, a year ago at this time, um, I was pretty overwhelmed with this award, and I was hesitant on taking it because I knew that it's a very challenging but rewarding job altogether. And so I'm grateful for this opportunity, and I want to thank you, thank you very much for this entirety, the entirety of this year. Um, but then again, it, it's it's I may be Pi Coordinator of the Year, but it's not about me. It's about Pi, and Pi is fulfilled of the entirety of Brevard's stakeholders and throughout the state, really. And this includes our business partners to our schools, parents and students especially. And I think that's what makes pie, pie. We all are a piece of this pie, and I think together um, it's one of the more upstanding programs that Brevard uh, Public Schools has to offer. Um, so with that said, um, I have always had a passion to serve others, um, but I'm also willing to pass the baton um, and in support of others seeking this opportunity. And um, this baton, the story behind the baton, um, <laughs> I don't really have a mean bone in my body and telling someone to stop talking, um, I sort of developed this sign. And so this is the baton we'll be passing on. Um, with that said, 
I'm very excited to announce this year's Pie Coordinator of the Year, Ms. Nicole Pepin from Croton Elementary. So, Nicole, tell us a few questions or a few things about yourself. Yes, I've worked with Brevard Public Schools since 2007. I served as a teacher and now just recently got promoted as assistant principal, as, along with Perry, got promoted this year as assistant principal um, at Croton Elementary School. Very good. Congratulations on your promotion as well uh, during this whirlwind of a year. Um, as the new PI coordinator of the year, what are some of the things you look forward to? I look forward to continuing to serve, sorry, continuing to serve our community, build relationships, um, positive relationships with the community partners we already have in developing new ones and bringing the school, the children, families together to serve our community. Very good. And what are some of the challenges you can foresee? Yes, well, I think after this year, if we can get through um, COVID and the pandemic, and I think we can get through anything. So I look at the challenges along with the triumphs that we got over this year. So I'm ready to get to work and move forward um, and push through. I really can't think of one challenge in my way after this year. <laughs> Very good. You know, I truly look forward to your hosting abilities and, and bringing this back to making it a, a much more personal and in-person program. I wish you all the best. If there's any way I can help, please reach out. You know where I'm at. And again, congratulations. Thank you. I'm honored. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Terry. Thank you so much, Nicole. And Terry, this is this is your last chance, closing it out. Any, any closing remarks, uh, anything else you, you want to share? I just want to thank you for um, the kind words you spoke on, on behalf of the, the PI program as a whole. I want to take this opportunity real quick just to thank all of our winners, especially those that have been acknowledged by our schools. As Deborah mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, we've been sharing those in our closed PI Facebook group. We're gonna to continue to do that until everyone is announced. We started uh, at the end of the alphabet this year. So our Apollos, our Atlantises, our Audubons, you guys hang on, your winners are coming. Uh, thank you to the administration and the coordinators that sent those in. And Terry, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you close us out as your, your last pie duty of the year. Thank you, Sarah. Um, <laughs> just, just again, I can't reiterate how um, amazing this program truly is to Brevard Public Schools. Um, and all of the people that it encompasses, thousands and thousands of people. And again, we have all of our community partners, faith-based partners, and business partners of the year. But even more so, there are a lot of unsung heroes behind these supporting those people as well. And so I, I just take my hats off to those who love serving others um, and the passion to, to keep supporting our school district as a whole. So with that, I sign off. Um, I appreciate this opportunity. And I look forward to next year. Thank you. Great job.